In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the things you can access in the Prodigy Library. So we'll open it by clicking the Prodigy Library button in the top right corner of the screen. Now the library contains every study material that's available in Prodigy Connect, except for the exam questions themselves. So everything from articles, workbooks, films, worksheets, and even over 3,700 flashcard questions are available within the library. By default, you'll see that Categories is selected. And that has the topics grouped by general category. For example, if I click Anesthesia Drugs, all of the Anesthesia Drug related material will appear in the list below. You can access any of them by simply clicking on them, and the material will appear in the panel on the right. If you want to widen this column, let's just slide this little button to the right, and it'll widen the column on the left so that we can read it more easily. You can also look at just films which will display only the films that are available in Prodigy Connect. You can limit it to articles, to workbooks, and to worksheets. You should also note that the worksheets are also interactive. Not only can you print them out so that you have a labeled copy on one side of your paper and an unlabeled copy on the other, but you can click this button up here that says Interactive. When you do, it'll give you a version that you can study on your screen. When you think you have it memorized, click Click here to enter practice mode and you can practice labeling the diagram. I'm going to click Done to exit it now and I'll also show you that you can look at materials grouped by the NBCRNA category by clicking here and that will group them by basic sciences, general principles of anesthesia, surgical procedures, and equipment. You also have access to the quick review, which are the flashcard style questions. So for example, if we wanted to look at Addison's disease, we have a page that we can print out, fold it in half lengthways, and the questions are on one side, and the answers and the rationale are on the back. You can also click Open in Flashcard app right here, and it'll jump directly to a flashcard app with those topics in it. So just click Show Answer, and Next to go to the next question, or you can click another topic from here and click Start to load it. Now I'm going to jump back to the library to show you one other feature, and that's the search criteria. So here where it says Enter Search Criteria, I can type in the word lidocaine and click Search, and it's going to pull up all of the materials that at least reference the word lidocaine somewhere in them. You can use AND and OR to combine search criteria or to search for multiple topics such as lidocaine and airway. If you click Categories, then you'll return back to the default view.